No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? Uh, by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories, yes, come, listen! Zokki, Rarundu de Wasagorori, Neyotzi Zizu, Waharu, Hau, Toyedene, Zinue Rodiscaragete, Junkquiro Taguani, Dehni Zaruki, Totni Dagwe, Ya Dehni Ganare, Ziosumwaya, Danu Aquegu, Gasumwa Hunzi, Yotzi Zizu, Yagoda Denequa, the Wagu, Danu Rarondo de. Yesutne Yirade Zokki Osumagu Ya Untke Doda Ahyarek. Dogatka negre. Tu da yawasi, rarondo de yasagorege. O sumagu, ya eant da ne, ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoyant da haje, wa e na hadu, zi nahoda wa egweni. Nia de gaderege, ya ehoe, zi ya eant da ne, zi de jutsu wagardas. God, Sir Rahnaraga, Dagwagara Duhas. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Balder, died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view. A 
that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Angua gara duha se ne at nowara rau gara. Nene o niot ti wat ha det noya ke. Gorham brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos gats. Gwa. Ras no sage. Wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird it ga? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya Watski. Yeti sot hogungaha. Ayeza ha herda. Rathnardaga. 